Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're gonna to talk about how to choose the right tire chains for your vehicle. We're gonna go over four different topics that are gonna help you to choose the best tire chains to fit the tires on your car. The first topic we're gonna to talk about is the vehicle restrictions. Now that's going to be uh, what your vehicle is going to allow you to put on the tires. The second is going to be the tire size itself because um, the tire chains are not gonna fit every single type of tire out there or every size of tire. The next thing is going to be your application. So where you live or what kind of climate you're in um, and, the, and the conditions that you see. And the last thing is going to be the ease of installation. How easy is it to install the tire chains on your tires? Now, when it comes to vehicle restrictions, there's gonna be a couple of things you're gonna to wanna to look into. Um, the first and foremost is gonna be your owner's manual. It's gonna tell you what tire chains, if any at all, uh, your vehicle is gonna be approved for. There's some vehicles that are gonna be so low clearance on the inside of the wheel well, whether it be the, the rear or the front, that is going to be where you're gonna look into a set of tire chains kind of like these, um, where they don't have anything on the inside of the tire. Another rating is a class S rating, which you'll see in your owner's manual or online. Um, and that is going to be limited clearance. So you're gonna to have to get a tire chain that is rated for limited clearance so that you don't run into any brake lines or any other components on the inside. Um, and then there's gonna be cars and trucks and SUVs that are gonna be wide open. You can use any tire chain you want because all those components are far enough away that you're not gonna to have to worry about making contact. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to look at is your tire size. Now the tire size, as you probably know, is gonna be listed on the sidewall of your tire. We do have a fit guide on our website. You can put your year, make, model vehicle in, and we're gonna give you the suggestions that will fit the factory tires that come on your vehicle, but you do wanna double check and make sure they are the tires that are still on your vehicle. Because over the years, if you buy a used vehicle, people could have put a larger or a smaller sidewall tire uh, on the wheel itself. Now we're gonna go over the different styles of tire chains and tell you the applications that they're most commonly used for. Cable style tire chains, standard D-link tire chains, self-tensioning tire chains, no clearance tire chains, V-bar style tire chains, square link mud and off-road tire chains, and snow socks. The last topic we're gonna to talk about is going to be the ease of insulation. Now, for most people, this is going to be the most important thing to them because it's gonna be whether or not they're gonna be able to get their tire chains on um, in the conditions that they're in. Now, we do recommend installing these in your garage or in your driveway. Um, honestly, the summertime or fall and spring is the best time to practice. Um, what you don't wanna do is the first time you install them to be out on the road when you actually need them. The easiest tire chains to install are going to be your self-tensioning tire chains and your standard D-link tire chains. Both of these are going to connect the same way on the back of the tire, but it's gonna be on the top, so you're not gonna to have to get on the ground. Um, the rest of your connections are gonna be color-coded and they're gonna be on the face of the tire. Cable style tire chains are gonna connect very similar to the D-link and the self-tensioning, um, as in they link together on top of the tire. Um, you're gonna have one connection in the front and one connection in the back. The difference is you're going to have to lay them out and drive over them, so they're not really gonna help you much if you're already stuck in a situation and you need your tire chains. Now, the other thing you're gonna to have to install with these chains is going to be a tensioner. This is going to keep the chains tight on your tires when you're driving down the road. The no clearance tire chains are gonna be the hardest by far out of all of them to get installed. You're going to have to remove the hub cap face and then attach the clamp to a lug nut and then tighten it down, get it placed on your tire and then pull forward and then readjust it so that it seats nicely on the tire. With V-bar and square link tire chains, it's going to be a very simple and straightforward installation. Um, actually one of the easiest. The problem is, is you're going to have to crawl on the ground to reach behind the tire in order to make one connection. When installing the snow sock, you're just gonna to have to wrap it around your tire, pull forward and readjust it. Well guys, hopefully we were able to help you make the right decision on what tire chains are gonna fit your vehicle and your needs the best. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.